Hi, I'm George Martinez, field CTO with Ava Security. Today we're here to talk about Ava, a simple, secure, cloud-native platform that is fully interoperable with third-party cameras. First, we're going to show you how easy it is to get started with an Ava camera. So let's open it up. First thing to notice is that you have a QR code on the outside of the box, the outside of the camera, and the inside of the camera. This is important for the ease of setup using the Ava app or the desktop browser. First thing you'll notice is that every Ava camera has easy access to the network port. This is important because this provides the power and network connectivity, which is all that is required for the Ava setup. So now we're ready to provide network. We're going to fish the network cable through the body of the camera, which will vary depending on the model that you're using. Plug in the network cable, and then we're going to screw down the gland. This ensures a weather tight fit. And depending on the model of camera, this may be a slip on connector or a screw down connector. And then we have three LED indicators. The first is gonna indicate power. The second is gonna indicate network connection. And then the third will indicate when you have registered to the cloud. So now that we have power and network, we're ready to add the camera via the Ava app. And simply use the camera app on your phone, which will redirect you to a web page. From there, you can access the mounting guide, but you can also register that camera. And if you don't already have the Ava Wear app, it will redirect you to the Android or Apple App Store to download it fresh. We're gonna to choose to add an existing deployment, name that camera, and then simply click Add. From that point, the camera registers to the cloud and you're ready to go. Once the camera has been added to your deployment, you'll see that third indicator light up, signifying registration of the cloud. The next step is to remove the mounting plate and attach it to the building. Ensure you've fished your network cable through the mounting plate. Place the camera mount in the final location. We're then gonna secure it to the wall. So now we're going to fish the network cable through the body of the camera and attach the camera to the plate. You'll then need to secure the plate to the camera and plug in the network cable to provide connectivity. Then close the body and secure the camera and we're ready to go. 